So in a previous video, we created an Azure DNS zone, and we talked about how that's used for external name resolution. For internal name resolution, we don't want to use the DNS zones right here. We want to use, wait for my pop to go away, the private DNS zones right here. So I'm going to click on private DNS zones, and I'm going to create a new private DNS zone for my demo projects. So I'm going to click on create. I'm going to choose my resource groups. This is going to go in demonstrations, and I'm going to give it a name, and I'm going to call this demo projects dot local. And then for my demo projects dot local, this is going to be an internal zone. So just like creating an external zone, if I have an existing uh, zone data file that I want to use or a zone editor, I can copy those here. I don't have that at the moment. So I'm going to just click review and create, and I'm going to create my DNS zone. Now, this is going to work a little bit different because this is going to be an internal DNS zone, not an external DNS zone. So let me wait for it to finish deploying. And then we're going to go to the resource as soon as it finishes its deployment. Provided that it does it quickly. All right, I'm going to go ahead because I'm getting impatient. Hey, what do you know? Talk about being impatient and it gets done. So I'm going to click on go to resource. And here is my demo projects.local. Now, notice here under DNS management, I have two options. I've got record sets and virtual network links. Now, this is a private DNS zone, but notice that I haven't associated it with anything yet. I do have one record set or one record, but notice I've got no uh, virtual network links. So this actually isn't helpful until I link it with an existing virtual network. So I'm going to click on virtual network links, and I'm going to add a link. By the way, you can have this manage multiple virtual networks, but we're just going to do one. So I'm going to call this private DNS for demo projects. And then I can say, all right, which virtual network? I'm going to select the virtual network, and I want it to be my demo virtual network in US West 2. And then right here, I can choose to enable auto registration or not. Now, on a private internal network, that makes a lot of sense. Systems can automatically register themselves. You don't have to manually create every records for everything. So yeah, I like that. So I'm going to enable auto registration, and then I'm going to click Connect or create, sorry. So this is going to create a link between my DNS demo projects .local zone and my virtual network uh, for my demo projects virtual network. And then because I enabled auto registration, I don't have to manually create anything. Now I can if I want to. So I can go to We'll let this thing think a minute. I can go to record sets and notice I've got my start of authority. So I can come in here and I can add records just like I could add records to my external zone, right? I click add and then I can set the name at demo projects.local. I can set the address record, the TTL, the IP address. I can choose different types of records that I want. You know, IPv4 resolution, IPv6, aliases, mail exchangers, service records, pointers, uh, whatever I want, I can go ahead and set up here. But because I enabled external registration, I actually don't, or external registration, automatic registration, I don't have to do that if I don't want to. So when I view my network link right here, you'll notice my auto registration is enabled, which is exactly what I want. And then I can edit this or delete this, whatever. Um, so when I create resources, virtual machines especially, will automatically register the name. Now, there may be things that I want to set a different name for. Then I can create a manual order. There may be things outside of my network that I need to set a um, automatic or a DNS name for. But if I don't have to create a DNS record for it, if it'll do it for it on a automatically, I'm just going to let it do it. So I'm going to leave it here because at the moment, I'm going to be happy with 
virtual machines and services registering their own uh, IP address here. And anything that I put on this, this is linked to my demo virtual network, right? So any resources that I create, actually let's just stick with virtual machines because that's going to be a little easier for us to visualize if we're coming from an on-prem environment. It's the same thing as automatic registration on a Azure integrated DNS zone. So machine comes up, it registers its name. Uh, with its DNS server, when, and the DNS server creates a record for it. Same thing here, I create a virtual machine, attach it to my demo virtual network, and it will communicate with the DNS server and create its own, uh, or register its own name inside our private DNS server. Okay, there we go. Public DNS servers in our previous video, and in this one, private DNS zones and zone records.